Hello everyone, uh, just coming on here to say, um, you know, thank you for all the support this past year as I've started my journey with cosplaying. Um, just kind of part-time, not like a full-time thing, but just as a hobby that I picked up, you know, during the whole quarantine, finding outfits in uh, my closet that I already owned, and how could I incorporate this as a character. So really it all began with closet cosplaying. And then over time, just, you know, buying uh, like official pieces, creating pieces for a cosplay, that sort of thing. So the first piece I created was Nora Valkyrie, um, the Mistral, like the post time skip, skip after the fall of Beacon, where I already had the pink skirt, I had a white shirt, I bought a necklace, and then the jacket was a Goodwill find. This was before COVID was a goodwill find and my mother helped me add the straps and the pop-up color adding that bit of red um, into it so I really did appreciate her help and support at the beginning when I was doing all this and so I was supposed to wear that to my first con in March 2020 but it got cancelled because that's when everything began so <clears throat> unfortunately I wasn't able to go so I stayed home and I created TikToks with Nora Valkyrie sounds and music and just being silly, bubbly, happy Nora for the day. Kind of posted those here and there um, and kind of went for it. And then I couldn't just have one Nora look, I had to create a second look. Um, but I kind of wanted to do it in my own style. So that is when I created the Nora Valkyrie Volume 7 look, which there is a YouTube video on this channel somewhere um, of me like doing that whole process. So. <clears throat> finally got that one done and then just some other like cosplay like closet cosplays like Mr. Smee, uh, Zarina the Pirate Fairy from Tinkerbell and the Pirate Fairy movie, there was Rapunzel for a little while so those were like some Disney cosplays and then like other Ruby cosplays I have a Penny look I am working on Pier and Nikos you know I have like the essentials like a wig and a, and a corset and skirt and the sash of course but you know I have to work on the boots and you know the armor and everything so um, but I do hope to get that video out sometime in 2021 to kind of just show you my process with Pierre and Gips. Um, kind of looking through everything so did Sasha blouse because I did join the Attack on Titan fandom um, Mitsuri cosplay I only have the wig I did a closet co cosplay a lot of people tend to like that one and I'm really glad because I feel really empowered and womanly when I'm when I'm at Surrey so kind of get to explore the feminine side <clears throat> um but yes those those were all this year and you know next year I do have uh, some cause plans to share with you all the first one has just arrived but it will be Lucy from Fairy Tale, and actually, oh, he's in here, but I'm gonna tell you guys anyway. Oliver's gonna be happy, so stay tuned. I'm getting the cat involved. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna be Lucy from Fairy Tale, and then the other one is gonna also be a bit ambitious, but Al from Full Metal, Metal Alchemist Brotherhood just got done the series, was trying to figure out who to be, and I just really want to be Al. So I'm going to be constructing the armor, you guessed it, out of cardboard, because that's what I do. <laughs> and so, you know, just like constructing, like I'm just going head to toe, essentially, and then I'll hopefully get that sometime next year done. Um, the other one at the moment is um, Double Trouble, and the only thing I have right now are the ears. Um, but I would love to be Double Trouble. I love them in the She-Ra series. There's a couple other She-Ra characters I want to be, but I really want to be Double Trouble and like really support that character because they're one of my favorites. Um, and then, I'm trying to think. So two Ruby cosplays uh, would be Coco Adele because when I was rewatching rewatching the series before Volume Eight, I really like struck a chord with Coco and I'm like yes, like that whole like you know, like, queenish, like, being total badass type of situation, so <clears throat> definitely want to do her, and then during a live stream, when I was, uh, Pure and Nico's on Instagram, I did a live stream, uh, somebody mentioned that I could pull off Glenda Goodwitch, and I thought about it, I'm like, you know what, that wouldn't be such a bad idea, 
you know, just getting like the top and like the hair and everything, like the accessories. I think the cape would be the hardest. I might have to like make my own pa like pattern for the cape. So I'd be interested to see how that one's gonna turn out. But, and then see who duets me as Ruby Rose. That would be adorable. So, <clears throat> but like I said before, I am on Instagram. It's the same account name, Jen Cos Jen Cosplays 45 and I'm on TikTok as well. So feel free to look at my photos, my videos, you know, send love my way, I'll send love your way. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to this next year. So stay safe, take care, wash your hands, be kind to yourself and be kind to others and wear a mask.